Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In operation research, let us discuss about models. Consider this instance. If an engineer wants to measure the inflow of water into a reservoir through a canal, he cannot sit on the banks of canal and conduct experiment to measure flow. He constructs a similar model in laboratory and studies the problem and decides the inflow of water. Hence, for many practical problems, a model is necessary. We can define an operations research model as some sort of mathematical or theoretical description of various variables of a system representing some aspects of a problem on some subjects of interest or inquiry. The model enables to conduct a number of experiments involving theoretical sub subjective manipulations, manipulations to find some optimum solution to the problem on hand. In operational research, the term model is usually taken to mean a representation of a situation. This representation is usually expressed in terms of symbols. Such models are used widely in science but are unusual in much managerial decision making. What are the models in operation research? Examples of operation research models are a map, activity chart, balance sheets, PERT network, break-even equation, economic ordering quantity equations, etc. Objective of the model is to provide a means of analyzing the behavior of the system of improving its performance. We'll discuss about some operation research models. First one, allocation models, replacement models, waiting line models, network models, game theory, inventory models, Markovian models, job se sequencing models, simulation models. Now, next we'll discuss about allocation models, that is distribution models. These models are really related with the allocation of available resources so as to make the most of profit or minimize loss subject to existing and predicted limitations. Methods which are used for solving allocation models are linear programming models, assignment models, transportation models. Next, waiting line models, that is queen. This model is an attempt made to forecast how much average time will be used up by the customer waiting in a queue, what will be the standard length of the queue, what can be the utilization of factor of queuing system. This model provides to reduce the sum of cost of servicing providing and cost of getting service linked with the value of time used up by the customer in a queue. Game theory or competitive strategy models. These models are generally used to decide the behavior of decision making under conflict or competition. Methods for solving such models are not found suitable for industrial practice mainly because they are meant for an idealistic world neglecting many necessary characteristics of reality. Next, inventory production models. These models are related with the finding of the best order quantity of and ordering production intervals considering the factors like cost of placing orders, demand per unit time, cost related with good held up in the inventory and the cost due to scarcity of goods. Replacement models. These models deal with finding the best time to compensate an equipment in situation which arise when some items or machinery require replacement by a scientific advance or need one of deterioration due to wear and tear, accidents, etc. Individual and group replacement principles can be used in case of such equipments that completely fail instantaneously job sequencing models. These models include the selection of sequence of performing a series of subject jobs, 
to be done on machines that maximize the efficiency measure of working of the system. In complication of works, you have to order the works sequence. It is better, it gives better results of completing the job. Network models. These models are pertinent in big projects involving in interdependencies and intricacies of activities. CPM, that is critical path method and PERT project evaluation and review techniques are used for planning, arranging or scheduling and controlling activities of intricate project which can be described through network diagram. Simulation models. This model is used mostly for solving problems when there are large number of variables and constraint relationships. Markovian models. These models are applicable in the situation which where the state of the system can be stated by some explanatory measures of numerical values and where the system changes from one state to another on a probability basis. Principles of modeling. The model building and their applications both should be willfully aware of the following these principles. Do not go for complicated model when simple one will be sufficient. That means you have to select simple model which is appropriate. Models never substitute decision makers. The deduction phase of modeling must be carried out carefully. Models should be authenticated prior to the implementation. A model should never be taken ex excessively literally. Be careful while modeling the problems to fit the technique. A model should neither be pushed to do or nor condemned for failing to do that for which it was never assumed. Some of the major benefits of modeling are linked with procedure of developing the model. Be careful of overselling a model. A model cannot be better than the information that goes in, into it. Now, simplification of QR OR models. While developing a model, two contradictory objects generally strike in our mind. The model should be as precise as possible. It should be as simple as possible. Now, the model can be simplified through skipping certain variables, aggregating the variables, altering the nature of variables, altering the relationship between variables, changing the constraints. Now, some important points to be remembered while building a model. Now, here, some important points uh, we have to remember. Remember while uh, building a model. What, when we can solve the situation, with a simple model, do not try to build a complicated model. Build a model that can be easily fit in the techniques available. Do not try to search for a technique which suit your model. Do not, do not search for a technique which is not suitable for your model. In order to avoid complications while solving the problems, the fabrication stage of models must be conducted rigorously. The model should be accurate as possible. The model should be as simple as possible. Benefits of the model always associated with the process by which it is developed. Next, we will discuss about advantage of some model. A model provides a logical and systematic approach to the problem. To provide the analyst a base, analyst a base for understanding the problem and think of methods of solving. 
The model will avoid the duplication work in solving problems. The model fits the limitation and scope of an activity. Models help the analyst to find never newer ways of solving the problem. Models saves resources like money, time, etc. Model helps analysts to make complexities of a real environment simply. Risk of tampering the real object is reduced. When model of a real system is subjected to experimental analysis. Now, limitation of a model. Models are constructed only to understand the problem and attempt to solve the problems. They are not to be considered as a real problem or system. The validity of any model can be verified by conducting the experimental analysis and with relevant data characteristics. Now, characteristics of a good model. The number of parameters considered in a model should be less to understand the problem easily. A good model should be flexible to accommodate any necessary information during the stages of building the model. A model must take less time to construct. A model may be accompanied by lower and upper bounds of parameters values. Now, so far we discussed various aspects of models, how is it possible to conduct and different types of the models we discussed. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.